The dust may still be settling on Liverpool's season, but thoughts are already drifting towards next term. Unlike last year, when the Reds flew straight out to spend the best part of a month split between two camps in Austria and France, Klopp's players will report back to their AXA base to begin the intense fitness work known to be undertaken by the coaching and fitness staff during the summer months. After a 63-game marathon campaign came to an end in heartbreaking fashion in the Champions League final last week, the dreaded lactate tests are back for the squad in just over a month of well-earned downtime. Monday the 4th of July will mark the Reds' return to their AXA training centre in Kirby and they will spend close to a week on Merseyside before flying out to Thailand for their first pre-season friendly. The game with Manchester United at the Rajamangala Stadium in Bangkok marks the first of three fixtures that are already penciled in so far for Jurgen Klopp and his players ahead of the new Premier League season. The exhibition contest, which will see both teams clash for the Bangkok Century Cup, will be the first time Liverpool have visited the region since 2015 under Brendan Rodgers. The tour also marks the club's first summer outside of Europe since 2019 when they played games across the United States after winning the Champions League. The Rajamangala Stadium, which holds over 50,000, is viewed as the ideal venue for both United and the Reds to square off in a high-profile friendly known officially as The Match, with Liverpool keen to take full advantage of the ability to visit areas like Thailand again. In 2018, more than 100,000 fans came out to see Liverpool take on United in Michigan as the Reds beat their historic rivals 4-1 in the International Champions Cup. The commercial departments of both are acutely aware of the potential earning ability for a repeat fixture in Asia this summer. Both United and Liverpool have been keen to get a friendly booked in the diary for some time given the potential for a lucrative return. The two had agreed to play two pre-season friendlies last summer at Anfield and Old Trafford following the lifting of the government's coronavirus restrictions. However, given the fallout from the protests of the United fans that caused the Premier League fixture to be postponed in April 2021, those plans were forced to be shelved until an agreement was reached for two of the biggest clubs on the planet to meet again in Thailand next month. The campaign gets underway on August 6th as it stands, although a Friday night change of schedule for TV may be forthcoming once the fixture lists are published later this month. There is an acceptance within the Liverpool camp that the early start to the season, which is brought on by the World Cup schedule across November and December, makes it harder to undertake a traditional pre-season full of friendlies. As it stands, there are three booked in so far, with Crystal Palace also on the list in Singapore three days after the meeting with United. From there, Liverpool will play Manchester City in the traditional curtain raiser when the Community Shield is played at Leicester's King Power Stadium on July 30th. The switch of venue for the Community Shield this year is due to the women's Euro 2022 final being held at Wembley on the same weekend, and while the match is not typically viewed as one that is played for a major piece of silverware, there will be a determination inside the camp to add it to the hall, having been beaten against Man City and Arsenal in their two most recent appearances in the fixture in 2019 and 2020. With over two weeks between those games, however, there is ample opportunity for more friendlies to pepper their schedule, and a pre-season European tour is likely to be on the agenda for Klopp, who places so much emphasis on the work undertaken during that particular period of the season. With less than a week until the campaign gets underway from there, a final friendly may not be played unless Liverpool see their game move to Sunday August 7th for television purposes. It's a fluid situation that will continue to be driven by the needs and demands of Klopp's football department ahead of a season where they once again will expect a challenge on all fronts.